Uh, okay. So the phone kept ring, ringing, 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 ringing. And then I apa ni? Lepas tu letak tak ada orang, tak ada orang kan. Hmm. Bila angkat tak ada orang, letak balik. Call lagi. Angkat lagi, letak lagi. Hmm. And then, um, apa ni? Uh, then suddenly after that, orang ketuk-ketuk-ketuk. Macam apa ni? This is not funny anymore. Kita nak tidur kan. Besok oh. ada show. I think that time ada KRU dengan dia punya the dancer semua lah semua ada kecak ini ni main main kacau kita orang ni ha. aja. Masa I kahwin hmm? kan and then uh, masa tu just before lockdown. Hmm. So I kahwin bulan Januari, lockdown happen in March. So hmm. I kat UAE hmm. and that kind of messed everything Around lah. I guess for everybody jugalah. All around the world. So, masa lockdown tu, actually Dubai, UAE, cepat keluar daripada... Uh, we had lockdown pun sekali je. So, I think within six months, things started to get back to normal kat UAE. Cuma Malaysia macam lama sikit. Tapi at that time, anak Shah, uh, Adam Maria masih di sini dengan Mak Shah. Because... Um, bila Syah pergi UAE, lepas dah berkahwin tu, Syah pergi honeymoon, pergi umrah dengan suami. And then, um, masa tu yang dekat um, umrah tu yang keluar kat TV, semua pasal yang COVID, COVID, COVID ni. Lepas tu balik UAE tu lockdown. So, tak dapatlah balik Malaysia. Hmm. Nak ambil area semua kan. And then, uh, daripada situ, I cakap, okay tak apalah. Uh, sebab Malaysia lockdown, kita pun tengah lockdown. Biar area teman my mum lah. Hmm. Then of course dekat Malaysia dah start online school after one year semua tapi uh, Arya I think for all the kids lah dekat Malaysia dia orang online school lama juga dekat 2 tahun kan. So like I said masa tu I kat UAE UAE within 6 months dia orang dah start to bounce back. So contohnya macam I dengan uh, suami Isha kita orang bulan Disember dah ambil vaksin dah. So, we were one of the first lah um, yang volunteer juga dekat UAE untuk ambil vaksin. Hmm. So, itu yang kita boleh, I boleh travel. So, I came back in January. Tapi, time tu uh, kena buat ni lah apa, quarantine. Quarantine kat hotel. So, of course, masa balik sini, uh, untuk jumpa mak, jumpa anak. And then, to see whether I boleh bawa Arya balik Malaysia. Tapi, bila saya tengok macam... Malaysia still under quarantine. Time tu banyak roadblock, banyak still tak boleh move around easily kan. So, I cakap, okay, let's just leave Arya here for now. Uh, teman uh, Mak Shah. And then, I think I came back again after that. Um, tapi time tu tak ada uh, quarantine. Cuma, ya, yeah, Malaysia was still um, banyak tempat yang tak buka lagi. Uh, in fact, time tu I nak uruskan untuk pertukaran sekolah Arya ke Dubai. So, I couldn't um, really um, even do that uh, properly. Meaning that I couldn't get the paperwork semua dan Sebab banyak kementerian time tu macam ada yang buka, ada yang tutup, ada yang macam... It was a bit difficult for me to get the information or go to the right place. So, I said, okay, tak apa, let's leave it for now. Time tu Arya pun macam tak apa, dia still nak teman my mom. Mm. And then, I think the third time I came back is uh, which was last year. Uh, yang I finally got all the paperwork. So, banyak juga paperwork nak transfer dia ke sana semua kan. And that's when Arya um, ikut I pergi Dubai. So, each time I balik tu, dalam sebulan, dua bulan tu, uh, either memang, I think the entertainment belum, that time belum revive balik. And um, also, I my main, um, uh, amat perut bunyi. <laughs> perut siapa lapar ni? Kan, perut I kot <laughs> <laughs> tak, tak sempat makan nasi lemak Okay, anyway So You dah sarapan belum? Belum eh, I excited kesanya. nak interview dengan oh you Oh my god Cakap dengan you, Budi I pun excited ni hmm, ha, Nak terima you sebagai nak, guest nak breakfast Okay So, in the end um, Each time when I come back I, My main focus is uh, My mom and Arya lah And in fact, even this time pun Um, because uh, last year uh, my mum jatuh huh? uh, so I don't know I think some people know lah Is it, uh, so she, okay? she fell so she had to have a hip replacement surgery dalam bahasa Malaysia apa eh pinggul pinggul kan hip pinggul Ping, uh, pinggul penggan, penggantian pinggul macam tu eh <laughs> so she had to Transper, have a transplant apa 
transplant so, lain. <laughs> hip replacement <laughs> surgery. Oh, oh, dia nak tukar dia punya, dia punya hip dia uh, masuk besi lah kot. Uish, besi then, uh, so she had an operation. And tapi alhamdulillah sebab Zain ada kat sini, ah. so Zain tu uh, yang uh, kira cemas juga lah sebab hmm. ambulans datang rumah semua everything. Hmm. Um, tapi Zain handle everything. Masuk berita tak time tu? Tak tak memang it was like tak kecoh lah. Tak, tak kecoh. kecoh uh. hmm. Because we didn't want anybody to panic like our other family members ke hmm. apa ke. So Zain memang he handled it and hmm. then um, my mom duduk dengan Zain for about um, one year. Um, daripada even Zain pindah rumah pun my mom pun ikut sekali pindah rumah semua kan rumah Zain dengan Rosita hmm. and um, so yang dikatakan berjuta-juta tu uh, I, tak, I tak pergi lagi eh, tak, tak pergi lagi uh, so I pun busy macam mana ni tak, tak pergi lagi sebab I pun busy tak excited eh excited lah tapi ada you banyak you lebih excited datang jumpa I <laughs> daripada jumpa <laughs> <laughs> tak, uh, diorang pun dia remember lah. diorang pun busy juga oh. I think right now they're, they're on holiday somewhere kot kat oh, Tasha uh. cuti je cik Tah So, okay, rezeki. sambung cerita. So, I balik ni pun memang I um, settle my mom. I yang bawa pergi hospital appointment. And then at the same time, Arya pun meng- mengeluarkan hasrat. Dia kata dia rindu Malaysia. Dia rindu nenek dia. Course. Nena ah, dia. Berapa, dia rindu berapa, berapa tahun dia kawan-kawan dah sekolah dia. Dia pun dah besar. Eh. Aku dia, tengok gambar dia. Dia macam... rindu makanan kantin sekolah. Okay? Oh, boleh. Ah, ah. Dia rindu makan nasi. Dengan ikan goreng satu pinggan. Oh my. Uh, That, so in the end you, we discussed it. Uh, so we discussed it dengan my mom. So my mom pun uh. dah balik rumah semua. Encik Alhamdulillah she's healthy. Uh, tapi dia kena pergi check up lah dengan dia punya. Ada therapy semua untuk dia punya hmm. rehabilitation dia. Adalah certain exercise ke apa semua dia kena buat kan. Hmm. So in the end uh, I uruskan untuk Arya nak pindah balik sekolah kat sini. Hmm. Uh, Arya pun dah. Bulan ni masuk 14 tahun. And he's so tall. Ya. Yeah. Ah, dia dah... Uh, Sama... He's 13 now. Dia Sama dah tinggi lima, dengan you ke? Lima kaki sebelas. So, sekarang uh, sama tinggi? Tak lah, lagi tinggi dia. I, lang, I just, dia I, lagi I, tinggi? I I'm five, nine and a half. Oh, so, dia memang ikut bapa I kot. Ah. Bapa I memang tinggi six foot something. So, makin handsome lah dia? I cannot say ah. kan. Nanti bias pula. <laughs> I mak dia. I think so lah. Macam so, dia ada tak dia rasa macam Arya ke arah nak jadi artis juga. Uh, see, this is the thing. Dia cakap dia nak jadi YouTuber. Oh, uh. Uh, tapi I think lot of kids these days, dia orang kasi into gaming semua. Uh, so banyak streaming. kids yang akan cakap oh, YouTuber, YouTuber, TikTok, TikTok, YouTuber. Mm. Tapi he's not into TikTok lah. Um, tapi I cakap dengan dia, macam mana mm. you nak jadi YouTuber kalau dia segan nak jumpa orang? Lepas tu dia tak suka gambar. Oh, dia introvert? Gambar dia. Yeah, I think he's a, he's a pretty shy. He's a shy boy. Tapi... Oh. Dia kata, oh it's okay kalau uh, macam ni. Dia kata, I'll just be in the room by myself talking uh. to mic. But I, I don't mind that. Dia uh, nak jadi streamer lah viewers. tu. Dia, dia uh. gamer kan? Uh, yes. Ah, dia di streamer tu. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, I cakap, okay, whatever hmm. you want to do. But yeah, studies are important lah. Hmm. So, he's really good in his studies. Alhamdulillah kat Dubai pun, he adapt really well. Hmm. Uh, sebab dia kena masuk British curriculum kat situ. So, sekarang dia, dia balik sini, uh, local curriculum. Tapi ya, yeah, uh, this week, <laughs> this whole time pun, uh, I've been teaching him maths. Uh, I okay tau, ajar maths tau. I ajar dia oh, algebra, you, okay? You boleh jadi main. cikgu? Ya, yeah, I was, hmm. I dulu kan ada tadika. And then, uh, hmm. with my mom pun, kadang-kadang I teach English. Okay, jadi guru tadika as, sebelum, as pun, sebelum, I elite, program English sebelum join apa? elite eh? Uh, no, actually, no, no. Because actually that time I dah kahwin, and oh, I, dah kahwin. I was... Carrying Aria actually. Oh, masa uh, tu. So in between when I was taking a break from Ili because I pregnant. Mm. Uh, that's when I. Itu pun kindergarten tu dengan my mom. My mom yang head mistress kindergarten tu. Uh, Iskal tak ada lah. Mm-mm. So you guys balik ni untuk uh, sekejap saja ataupun. Okay, so sekarang ni memang untuk I uh, tolong my mom papa semua. So my uh. mom memang suka. Dia suka I ada yang untuk tolong dia buat. Hmm. Apa apalah mungkin dia, dia comfortable dengan I guess walaupun I duduk uh, apartment yang lain tapi the same area I am always at her place because kalau I pergi kerja hmm. uh, you, know, you have to remember I was a single mother for 11 years hmm. so bila I keluar pergi kerja my mom yang tengokkan Arya so we've always three of us have always been 
together. Mm. So it's just we're very familiar with each other, and then my mum pun macam dah biasa uh, with her routine semua and everything. So walaupun ada pergi jauh semua, dia tetap tunggu I balik untuk uruskan apa apa yang dia nak. Ya lah. Uh. You antara anak dia yang berjauhan dengan dia. Yang lain kat Malaysia. Tak juga, saya ada abang. Ah, abang saya ada you, abang. Okay, abang awak kat mana? Abang saya kat UK. Oh. But abang saya, he grew up in Malaysia. Uh. Um, so, I lagi, mungkin I would say I lagi rapat dengan abang saya because growing mm. up, I was with my brother. Uh, Zain dengan saya, there's nine years difference. Dia lagi muda sembilan tahun daripada saya. Tapi, he was like, Always on his own hmm. kan. Zain ni nakal tau masa Zain kecil. Ah, uh, Tuan-tuan nama dia Zain The Pain. Uh, <laughs> sampai sekarang panggil Zain, Zain The Pain. Itu uh, nama rap dia. <laughs> Zain The Pain. Uh. So, um, uh. abang I umur 18 tahun, dia dah pergi balik UK. Sebab dia pergi duduk dengan my grandparents hmm. kat situ. And then from there, dia kerja semua everything. So, he was more independent lah. Tapi... Walau hmm. macam mana pun, I tetap rapat dengan dia. Every year, I akan balik UK hmm. untuk visit dia and duduk dengan dia. Hmm. Tapi, um, yelah bila mak I sakit ni, um, dia datang, just before I came here, dia hmm. datang sini juga to visit my mom. Sebab kita orang punya family motto is uh, no news is good news. Uh, so, maksudnya macam, uh, kita bukan jenis macam uh, everyday call ke apa ke, tak. Hmm. We were like, once in a while, we were talk WhatsApp tu memang lah. Tapi hmm. kalau sekali-sekali kita akan ramai-ramai video call ke apa ke. So kalau tak ada berita hmm. yang uh, apa eh, yang mengejut ke apa ke, uh, then kita tak ada call each other ke hmm. apa ke. So kadang-kadang kalau keluar nombor mak saya ke apa ke, macam, alamak, okay. Hopefully nothing's happen ke apa ke. Uh, macam itulah. Hmm. Okay, sepanjang you berada dekat Dubai, hmm. sudah tentu you banyak pengalaman membuka mata you yang membezakan Malaysia dengan Dubai. Okay, hmm. apa apa yang paling ketara sekali bila you berada dekat sana benda yang tak ada dekat Malaysia? That's a good question. Apa yang ada dekat Dubai tak ada dekat sini? Ah. Pasir. <laughs> <laughs> oh pasir my pantai God. pun ada. Tak ada Tapi pasir ni. Tapi desert lah maksudnya gurun lah. Pasir gurun. ni lain macam. Dia punya pasir dia macam powder you know. Oh. So Sepijik-sepijik. Ataupun it's halus. It's like powder. Halus macam powder. Oh, okay. Sekejap. Ni pasir dekat jalan ataupun pasir dekat You uh, have to remember gurun. Pazam. Kat situ tak ada tanah. Everywhere is panang pasir. That's what's hmm. amazing about UAE, about Dubai especially. Hmm. Is they build the city on pasir. So kalau you pergi sana, kalau you nampak pokok-pokok ke apa, uh, flowers ke apa ke, oh. itu semua... Uh, ada underwater punya pipe-pipe air ventilation hujan sekali setahun oh. kan lepas tu tanah tak ada Sekejap, dekat Pasir. bawah tanah tu ada uh, you will see ada pipe-pipe uh, uh, hitam next time oh, you go Dubai okay. you tengok betul-betul yang pokok ke bunga uh, ke so apa bawah dia tanah, ada semua ada pipe aliran. air kecil so ada aliran air kalau tak all the plants will die uh, yeah, cause hujan, the hujan sekali setahun sekali setahun kalau uh, that's bulan natural, berapa? Bulan that's berapa? natural. Kalau um, other than that, that's cloud seeding. Uh, so macam sekarang ni, dia orang tengah buat cloud seeding. So tiba-tiba hujan hari tu. A hmm. uh, few days ago, my husband cakap, and dia kata bila hujan turun, macam you buka air panas. Sebab okay. sekarang ni, don't forget Dubai is 50 degrees, 50 50 degrees. 50 degree, uh, 50 Celsius. Panas je. Panas sangat-sangat. So when it rains, it's as if I. Tapi you tetap putih. I. <laughs> sebab so, pakai topi. Oh pakai topi. You oh. keluar kena pakai topi. Tapi bila panas orang tak keluar. You duduk rumah, aircon, aircon. atau kipas, whatever. Masuk kereta aircon, pergi ke mall aircon oh, oh. atau office aircon. Tak okay. ada nak jalan-jalan berangan nak jalan-jalan kat luar. Hmm. So it's so hot. Tapi the same time we also have our Arabian winter. Apa tu? So Arabian winter is from. So sekarang ni macam two days ago there was sandstorm. Mm. So sandstorm in in city juga. So sandstorm tu maknanya peralihan um, angin. Mm. Because the Bukannya ribut? Bukan ribut. ribut. ribut Dia pasir. macam sandstorm ni macam because sekarang cakap the sand is so halus okay. macam powder. So bila angin tiup it's just like it just goes up into the air you mm. know because it's so halus. 
and then it, it gets into your hair gets into tu yang orang you selalu nampak orang Arab pakai tutup yeah. I baru teringat satu bab, satu nose. scene dalam Mission Impossible Oh my god I know <laughs> you see tak kira apa You macam tu eh Yes you macam datang like zoom. that Yes it can suddenly come and mem- so tu orang akan pakai scarf ke apa untuk tutup muka oh. because dia akan masuk hidung you boleh dia masuk kerongkong because it's so halus it's not like uh, yeah. pasir kat pantai Bayangkan Sebab macam tu banyak bedak, orang eh? pun nak gantung baju kat luar. Uh-huh. Walaupun panas, dia orang tak nak gantung kat luar. Because hmm. baju akan kena pasir. Dan pasir tu tak nampak. Bila you pakai, it's like you have to hmm. dust off the pasir on your baju, you know. Hmm. So, benda yang paling rare sekali, pasir lah. Pasir. <laughs> Jawapan. <laughs> okay, selain tu mungkin Jawapan ceritakan selamat. pengalaman. <laughs> okay, cerita sikit pengalaman you berada dekat Dubai. Uh, so apa yang you buat? I I tengok juga IG story IG story you IG post you. You banyak melancong juga jalan-jalan. Okay, hmm. I rasa when people ask me about Dubai, this is one thing that I always say. I think people have the misconception that Dubai is just shopping, shopping, shopping. Kan? Because oh, bangunan, yeah, bangunan, bangunan mewah. People oh. when people think of Dubai, they think of Dubai Mall. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Dubai itself downtown, we call it downtown. The Sheikh Zayed Road too, the main road too. We have Museum of the Future. We have DIFC, which is Dubai International Fi- Financial Center. We have Burj Khalifa. We have Dubai Mall. We have all that, which is a very big. Like I said, for a, a place that, this is, and this is just recent though, because they they just started building up the country from I think late 70s, early 80s though. Mm. So you can imagine within 20 something years, yeah. Look at how Dubai is now. So that's why sometimes, even though I've only been there for four years, hmm. bila dia punya hari, I guess you call it hari kebangsaan dia orang, memang kita pun rasa patriotic tau. Because we can see like, uh, dia punya pemerintah semua, how they put all this effort in. And then, because uh, UAE, the locals tak banyak so I think it's only 10% of the population. Local tak banyak? Tak banyak. So, so yang, yang banyak adik- expat. That, so, tapi they all oh. work together. So, pemerintah memang uh, akan bekerja dengan expat untuk membangunkan Dubai. Mm. They, they use the expertise of uh, expats. So, when you go to Dubai, mm. everybody from around the world akan datang ke Dubai untuk cari kerja. Because, Tempat cari kerja. Eh? Yeah, because it's kalau still I, booming, kalau it's still I, building. Kalau saya pergi sana, senang tak nak, nak, nak cari apa, YouTuber ke nak cari media? You can try. Memang, memang banyak... Uh, hmm. YouTubers go there and um, dari segi visa dari segi everything nak masuk nak masuk uh, senang uh, there's no I believe Malaysian you can just go in hmm. yeah and then um, of course the the big attraction there is that um, apa ni UAE tak ada income tax and then tapi income I income tax ada so tak, benda murah tak ada income tax and then macam oh. kereta semua is like tak ada tax tak ada. semua kan So macam uh, Tapi they have For certain company They have corporate tax Semua hmm. That kind of thing lah Kalau mungkin Big 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 companies Ada lah kot uh, Things like that But um, It's definitely When you go to Dubai It's a melting pot You will see People from all around the world In in Dubai hmm. I lupa apa Soalan yang tanya I tadi sebenarnya Betul lah tu Tapi tempat yang Yang paling yang Yang you're, Okay Kalau I pergi sana I wajib pergi Mungkin you bagi tiga tempat. Dan sebab apa? Okay. Kalau saya nak pergi uh, I Dubai. I remember now why I, why I said that. So sebenarnya, ha. Dubai uh, or UAE in general hmm. has a lot to offer. Culturally, culturally. You dah jadi macam duta Dubai lah. No, because I really believe in this because <laughs> um, ha. banyak orang perception or oh, another thing they say, oh kalau du- Dubai je kaya. Kalau Dubai je eh, betul, macam status. Betul. Sebab Tapi, mewah kan? Pandang ya, mewah. Ya, memang. Kat sana tak ada orang miskin kan? Ada. Ada? Of course ada. Ada, ada middle okay. income. Oh, ada. Yeah, I would say like we are middle income. We are we are not up there ke apa kan. Hmm. I, mean, I have friends yang memang uh, yang duduk Butch Khalif. Butch Khalif apa hmm. ada kawan-kawan semua. Tapi they're very um, low profile, nice people kan. Hmm. But the thing is what my point is that um, is that you can live uh, on a middle income ke You know, there's a lot of um, uh, people who work kat kedai-kedai biasa, kedai runcit. Mm. So, if you if you want to live in Dubai, tak semestinya you kena pergi beli groceries kat Dubai Mall. You know what I mean? No? It's like, there's certain mm. areas in Dubai which you can go and 
and and find out where the locals go, where the locals eat, where the locals shop. Mm. So ada je kedai-kedai yang murah sebenarnya boleh pergi. So I think that's one perception that people have in Dubai. Tapi yeah, of course you can go to Dubai. They have all the latest branded stuff, the latest collection. So there's there's variety of everything sebenarnya. And then if you go out of Dubai, there is macam I suka pergi off road dengan my husband. Mm. Okay, so Dubai. Kalau uh, kat Malaysia dia macam uh, Petani Street ke apa? Tak, macam off-road tu macam pergi 4x4. Uh, uh-huh. So, pergi macam in the desert. Uh-huh. So, desert tu pun ada, kita orang nak pergi 2-3 kali. Tapi, kita suka pergi wadi. Oh. Wadi ni macam bukit-bukit. So, we will spend oh. the whole day. So, we will go, macam you ini ada tujuh negeri. Like, tujuh, tujuh Dia macam bukit-bukit lah. tempat gunung-gunung tu. Uh, so, kita akan Tapi bawa 4x4. Tapi, ada tumbuh-tumbuhan kan? Ada. Uh, so, the uh. further out you go, or uh, macam you ini atas sikit Oman. So the further up you go, they like makin sejuk, makin sejuk, makin sejuk. Of course, uh, if you go out the city pun akan makin sejuk lah anyway, right? Mm. Um, so when it comes to winter time, it's so nice to go off road and sejuk sangat. Because during winter time, Arabian winter, malam it can drop to sampai 8 degrees. 8 can, degrees. It can be quite cold. Mm. And kita orang pernah pergi off road dekat wadi where... Uh, I or I Memang I bought my winter jacket Bawa mm. my scarf Pakai hood Sejuk menggigil ni mm. Pergi ni lah Because we will go off road Bawa uh, ada buku dia Untuk the yeah. name root ke apa mm. Lepas tu pergi Bawa tempat masak Kita orang makan Cari tempat untuk makan Semua masak kan And It's fun So it's That's a different Like I said That's a different side of you Banyak benda lain yang boleh buat in UE to explore sebenarnya. Mm-mm. Macam duta ni. Yeah. Macam duta ha, UE. Ha, dah jadi duta pelancongan dah. <laughs> Actually, mm. just before I came here, uh, I was invited because, um, I don't know why, but mm. um, I work closely with the Malaysian Embassy lah. Because mm. I to masa Expo 2020 Dubai, uh, I diminta untuk jadi MC for a few uh, of the uh, pelancaran lah, which mm. I, I said, okay, yeah, that will be fun mm. semula kan. Um, and the orang, I, I don't know whether it's through the embassy, somebody contacted me, they kata the orang nak suruh I jadi macam a Malaysian ambassador or speak on Malaysia mm. uh, in Dubai for, I can't remember, it was for some event. Tapi unfortunately, I couldn't do it because I'm here. Mm. Uh, so that was a bit like, oh, because otherwise mm. it, that would be nice lah. Actually, so berapa both, lama you nak, so you nak do Malaysia ni? A uh, few months, a few, few months. months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nak bagi semua saya. Uh, you husband? My mom. Ada kat sana. He, he'll be coming uh-huh. to join me. So mm. I kerja, so dia he kerja. cannot like stay as long as I can. So my mm. priority uh, this time is to tengok my mom because mm. my mom was hospital dua kali while I was away. But mm. tapi ada sekolah. But like I said, I'm lah Zayn was here. So mm. my mom buat jenis macam don't worry, don't worry, I'm okay, I'm okay. Mm. Uh, come when you can come. So and then she stayed with Zayn the whole time. And um, so, yeah, so my priority is this time is to see my mom, sort things mm. out. And then, um, apa ni? Uh, also, this month is uh, uh, Arya punya birthday, end of mm. this month. So, I tepun dengan... You punya birthday, December. December. You punya ha. birthday? Bila? Happy birthday Bila. to you. Oh, lepas <laughs> dah kan? Dah lepas dah. Happy birthday to you. Eh, you tahu tak kita... kita Happy sat- birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Belated birthday lah. Birthday lah. Satu bulan lapan. You tahu tak? Satu so bulan lapan. So you sama dengan Arya? Tak, Arya. Satu bulan lapan tu, I buat podcast dengan Fizz Virus. Fizz Virus tak, tak bawa pun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jangan I expect more okay. eh, dengan orang eh. Uh, okay. Uh, you tahu kan? Kita satu usia kan? Nampak really? sangat aku macam tua. 1976? Oh. Oh wow. Oh, you tak tahu kan? Eh, tapi orang-orang umur kita memang nampak muda. Hmm. Trauma. Eh, betul lah. <laughs> okay, uh, ada uh, pula bunyi-bunyi uh, ada orang pengalaman, gelap. Eh, pengalaman yang Dubai yang pelik-pelik yang you nak share. Pengalaman yang pelik? Hmm, banyak kan? Gila, tiga tahun duduk kat sana. <laughs> ada pula suara kat dalam ni ha. kan? Oh, manager I. Hmm. Um, I would say masa yang I pergi off-road tu, uh, I don't know if it's pelik lah But kita orang pergi off-road So kita orang jadi macam pergi off-road I just me and my husband And then ada sekali tu Kita orang dia Sebab kita pergi off-road Kita ada buku tau Dia punya UE off-road So dia ada route, route dia So dia akan bagi GPS semua tau Because mm. And then setempat you Dah masuk dalam sangat 
you lose signal tau. So GPS pun tak ada. Hmm. Tapi kita orang macam, no, no, let's just go, let's just go eh. So, dia macam makin lama makin kecil lorong tu. So, pokok-pokok pun dah macam dah start to cover dia ni kan. And dah, mak, dah lepas maghrib lah sebenarnya. Because we always think that, oh, okay, we will come out at the end of somewhere else lah kan. Tapi jalan, 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 jalan. Cakap, eh, ni macam tak ada hujung je jalan ni kan. Makin sempit kan. Maksud macam gelap kan. Tapi macam kalau 4x4 punya kereta, dia ada memang ada storm light. So, everything so not so bad lah. But, At one point, kita orang tiba-tiba I told my, stop, stop. Ada macam tin minyak kosong dah karat kat hmm. depan kita orang. So, he stopped and then uh, he got out of the car. So, he came back. Because our, punya, our macam nak cakap, eh? uh, kita tak boleh nampak jauh tau. Hmm. Sebab walaupun ada storm light tu, tapi tak nampak jauh. Sebab it was completely in the middle of nowhere. Gelap hmm. dalam okay, hutan lah. Hmm. And the king came back and said, oh my god, you won't believe it. Nasib baik kita orang stop. Sebab kat lepas tu terus macam drop. Sheer oh, drop. Oh, dia macam jul- jurang. Macam jurang macam tu. And so we were like. Kalau you tak stop. Kalau kita tak stop. Kalau tak ada benda kita nampak. Oh, I nampak yang tin kosong minyak karat hmm. tu. Whatever. Just random. Berapa orang tu. You, you pergi? Dua orang je. Dua orang je. We always go to our. Because we at the back, we pack everything ah, in tak case. Tak ada tourist guide apa? Tak ada. <laughs> Baru lah adventure tak, But actually sebenarnya patutnya pergi ramai-ramai oh, Nak romantik kan Tak adalah romantik Kita memang <laughs> suka Kita orang suka the unknown And uh, the unexpected mm. uh, So adrenaline rush lah mm. kononnya. So but yeah luckily we suddenly stop And then we, we had to reverse lah the whole way But the whole time we were mm. like Oh my god, oh my god What if mm. we had Fallen and then it's like, dah lah tak ada you GPS, know. dah lah tak ada orang kat situ. I mean, I guess the worst comes we will sleep in the car lah. Memang uh. kita dah, that's why we bring our winter Tapi kalau jatuh pun, ke ke. atas pasir lah kan? Tak, tak ada tak, batu. Tak, tak. Itu wadi. Oh, wadi. Wadi, so wadi, wadi batu. 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 Uh. Uh. Sebab wadi ni sebenarnya, dia tempat kalau, okay, and then also one thing, uh, UEE, kalau hujan, hmm? dia flash flood. Macam hmm. macam apa? Air pasang, apa dia kata air pasang kat sini hmm. kan? Hmm. So, wadi ni sebenarnya, sebab you, you akan nampak banyak batu-batu-batu sebab yeah. dia sebenarnya uh, sungai. Dulu-dulu-dulu, uh, uh. sungai. So, sekarang dah kering. So, kalau hujan, kalau hujan tempat hujan, tu banjir. akan melimpah. Uh, so, kita lalu jalan macam tu sebenarnya. Uh, so, that that was one thing I can remember. And then, I remember going back. Um, mm. I research lah tempat ni, pasal tempat ni kan. Sebab sebenarnya kita masuk tempat yang tak ada dalam buku tu. Mm. Tempat yang redah je kan. Bila saya baca, bila saya balik, saya baca, 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 rupanya tempat tu memang ada cerita. Cerita macam-macam, macam mystical kan. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, oh my god. Lepas tu lain macam, rasa lain macam kan. Tapi, mm-hmm. my husband like, tak ada lah, tak ada apa-apa lah. Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay, sambung. <laughs> I, I dia fahamkan, dekat Dubai, mm-hmm. dia punya teknologi, jauh, 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 beza dengan Malaysia. I think, du, nak kata setaraf dengan Jepun, I tak pastilah. Tapi, you as a macam pemerhati dekat sana, dari segi bangunan, corak. You masuk dah yang paling modern, yang bentuk apa? Museum of the Future. Ah, tu. Yang yeah, tu, I tu, just kan? went, just before I balik sini, I went there with a ah. friend. Oh, bila? Baru lagi you masuk situ? Baru lagi I pergi. Tempat ah, tu dah... Eh, tempat tu dah lama. No. You talking about the one yang macam yang, shape, macam yes, bulan yes. yang ada. Ah, ah, yes, yang ada. Right? Ah, ya, yeah, yeah, benda tu baru buka dua tahun kot. Dua tahun. You baru Tapi pergi? Tapi nak, nak, nak bina tu lama. Ya, yeah, abang pergi because hmm. ramai orang pergi. Oh, dia jadi tumpuan lah. Ya, 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 ya. It's like... So, nak pergi tu kena ada giliran or you kena beratur? Uh, you can buy online tapi ada kota lah everyday oh. berapa. Because sepatutnya uh, my my husband punya friend, old okay. university friend came with anak dia. So, it was very uh, ad hoc. Just tiba-tiba, oh, you want to go? Uh, I'm going to get tickets random. Uh, random. So it was fun sebab dia uh. so I teman anak dia. How much? Dia. How much? A ticket? I believe it's like 200 dirham or something. I can't remember because that was um 200 dirham. Yeah. Bersamaan dengan berapa ringgit Malaysia? So I believe uh, now exchange is like 1.4, 1.3 yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not mm. that much difference. Mm. Um But uh, going back to your question too, um, hmm. I don't know 100% like how advanced or whether... Um, 
technology. Technology comparison between Dubai. The only thing is, um, okay, I know a little bit lah here and there. I know hmm. uh, Tesla memang banyak lah sekarang dekat Tesla. Dubai. They have Itu baru nak dri- masuk. Driver, drive, driverless hmm. Tesla already hmm. doing um, deliveries. And you, you will see cars without driver in, in Dubai already. Sama ke? Tapi tak rasa risau. I pernah naik Tesla, my family Tesla. And it ah. is memang macam being in a spaceship. Um, tak rasa apa kan? Tak rasa bunyi apa. Ya, bunyi tak pun. Bunyi. And dia punya, what do you call it? Yang from 0 to 10. Kilometer. Uh, acceleration tu. Oh ah. my god. Memang macam naik roller coaster. Memang perut you akan macam... And I told her, don't do that again. Please oh, don't do that yeah again. Uh, and yeah. then, it's a, to me, the most amazing thing was like, <gasps> the car keluar sendiri kan. And so, kereta tu parks ni, I was like, mm. whoa, that is so cool. Mm. Even for me, you know, living in Dubai, it's like, wow. Um, then the other thing, I just read yesterday that ah. um, Dubai is going to be the first country in the world to have 10G. 10G tu apa? Um, Kalau li- sini 5G? Yeah, so Dubai... Dua kali ganda? Yes. Laju, laju lah I don't know when sana. But I think soon Eh kenapa, kenapa melompat soon. Eh jap Kenapa melompat secara Mendadak Daripada 5G to 10G I don't know <laughs> Tanya dorang Oh so So tak ada 5G So, so tak ada 6G 7G Sekarang ni memang Dubai dah lama ada 5G lah uh. um, So yeah I guess They're going to jump straight to 10G I guess I don't know oh I, That part God. I don't know I just read it yesterday Yeah 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 Dubai membangun secara Mendadak Secara cepat Drastik yeah. sangat Yeah kan? Yeah sebab mungkin do it good. Okay, pengalaman you masuk tu. Banyak investors uh, Museum kot. tu. I, I, I berminat sebab ki, benda tu nampak macam kecil tau. Tapi besar. Ya, ya, ya. Kan, bentuk dia dalam, tu. Yeah, kalau yeah. kita kita tengok dalam Museum gambar. Daripada drone ke apa ke. Mm-mm. Nampak macam kecil. Tapi you pergi macam besar kan. Besar, Tempat besar. besar. There's at least like 5-6 uh, floors lah you ha. can go. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah, so, apa yeah. ada ada dalam tu? Hmm. I, tak, I pun tak nak review lah. Nanti spoiler, hmm. spoiler. Oh, spoiler pula. <laughs> Mungkin nak ha. pergi sendiri. But it's it's very interesting. Trailer lah yang nak pergi tu. Dengan Atik lah. Ajak Atik. <laughs> Atik. Atik dah pergi? Atik Dubai. dah pergi? Tak Kau dah pergi? Tak pernah. Tak pergi sama-sama lah. Jumpa Sasha. Ha, kan? Ha, boleh, boleh. Ha, nanti, come, come. Kau kan yang jadi please get Tapi orang. come at winter. Don't come now. Panas. Oh. Winter bulan berapa? So winter it starts, oh, so sekarang ni macam dah start like I said, the peralihan angin tu. So ah. the cold wind is starting to come in. Hmm. Um, so cold should be starting October till hmm. March. Tapi kalau nak really nice, you come January lah macam hmm. tu. Yeah. Hmm. Okay babe, um, apa yang you rindu dekat Malaysia? Apa Tiga tahun rindu? selain selain your mum? Definitely makanan. Makanan? Makanan. So, oh, and hujan. Oh my ah. God. You tahu tak kalau kat Dubai ah. tu, Dubai kan tak selalu hujan. Ah. So, bila hujan tu, um, orang akan literally, hmm. katakan macam kita duduk, kita duduk apartment kan. Ah. Literally, people will come down ah. the front door and stand there and tengok hujan. Ramai-ramai. Ah. You don't tengok je? Tengok je hujan. Oh, bukan mandi hujan? Macam I dengan uh, my husband, hmm. kita orang pakai baju hujan, kita hmm. pergi main hujan. Hmm. Kan? Sebab perangai tak senonoh kan. Lepas nyanyi lagu Ella. Oh ya? Yeah? Tahu kan ada lagu Ella lagu yang berkaitan hujan. dengan hujan. Oh ya? Yeah? Lagu apa ha. cuba? <laughs> Nyanyi sikit. Uh. Nyanyilah. <laughs> lagu apa ya? Eh? Lupa dah. Uh. Tapi ada. Oh ya? Yeah? Hmm. I selalu nyanyi lagu Ella yang hmm. In the Eyes of the World. Ah, Yang kalau tu lagu Spirit. Untuk Inspiration. Kat, kat Dubai. Kalau oh ya? Yeah? Ah, uh-huh, kalau minta nyanyi ke apa hmm. kan? Aku akan nyanyi. Oh, so you jadi artis lagi dekat 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 Dubai. Not really. Kan kena I just yeah, collab dengan uh, kalau ada embassy invitation lah. Kalau embassy or macam hari tu Expo Dubai hmm. tu, the Malaysian Pavilion. Hmm. Uh, yalah macam collaboration ke apa ke. Hmm. Tapi tak adalah, tak 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 adalah tu hmm. semua. Cuma yeah, of course I rindu berlakon semua everything kan. Hmm. So, bila I balik ni, um, ada juga I contact kawan I semua cakap, uh, ada ke shooting lagi ke mm. semua kan? Macam hari tu, yang last I buat hari tu, drama raya. Mm. So much fun because the director was my good friend lah. Mm. Uh, she's young and kita orang pernah uh, masuk short film punya together. Because I pun suka directing, my lot my video clips pun I direct sendiri mm. for my solo album kan. Mm. Um, tapi dia pula sekarang tengah lecturing. 
Hmm. So tak ada so saya tak apalah cakap. Tapi ya yeah, I definitely will be interested to still berlakon. Uh, I still do modeling. Um kejap lagi lepas ni I ada shoot dengan Kak Yan, hmm. Oh Yan's Creation. Wow. Ya yeah, so hari ni ada dapat hmm. buat podcast buat dengan Budi. Kan? Uh, kan senang ha. tau. <laughs> uh. Senang je nak datang podcast borak-borak dah settle. Betul lah yang best sebenarnya. <laughs> hmm. Okey. Uh, I, 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 I sebenarnya nak nak gali you punya cerita tentang perkhidmatan you sebelum you masuk elite, uh, join elite. Mungkin you, hmm. you nak share okay, your, your 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 journey sebelum you masuk uh, tubuhkan elite. Sebelum tu you you buat apa? Bagaimana okay. corak uh, you punya uh, zaman remaja you? Hmm. So I daripada kecil hmm. um, let's say seven eight years old. Tak tahu saya masih so old, maybe younger. Um, I tengah janjian dengan mak I, and then uh, ada modeling agency. Actually, Yasmin Yusof punya modeling oh. agency dulu. I forgot oh. what it's called. But I was in Ampang. Uh, approach I, uh, tanya tak kau approach I, kerana still a kid. Approach my mom, uh, tanya mm. if I be interested to do TV commercials lah. Mm. So time tu, uh, I pun tak tahu lah apa TV commercial tu semua everything semua. Kan? Cuma mm. mom cakap. Or they will give you some money and then if you do well, then I will let you buy a toy ke apa ke macam tu lah kan. Mm. I mana lah konsep, tahu faham konsep payment, duit ke apa time tu kan. Mm. So I said okay, fun. And then I guess I like acting semua. So I got my first TV commercial when I was mm. uh, eight years old. Time tu untuk Maggie. And then after that I got from... Oh, iklan job. pertama you? Ah, uh-huh. Maggie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ada lagi kat YouTube? Tak tahu lah. Tak ada aku. Tak I cari. Uh, tahun berapa? Tahun 8 plus 76 berapa? Quick, 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 quick. 82, 84, 80. Time, time. Around there lah. Around there. Okay. I think I was like 8 or 9, 7, mm. something like that. And then um, I dapat at McDonald's. Mm. Uh, McDonald's lah jadi ballerina. And then one, and then I did, uh, and then I did, uh, Jovin Bouquet, which that one is uh, on YouTube. Mm. I have posted on my um, my Instagram. I also did, uh, some people might remember I did Clorets. Mm. Yang, yang Abang Pendek tu. Oh, Abang Pendek. Oh, Abang Pendek. Um, I did quite a few lah. And then Zin also buat also. He also did um, Zin sasah lah kan. Muka kan. commercial. So, um, yeah. So, we both started from that. Mm. And then in school. Banyak tak bayaran masa tu? Tak ingat Untuk iklan. lah. I tak ingat. I really don't remember. Ha. Sebab yang obviously my mum mungkin uh, letak dalam bank account oh. for me lah. Separate hmm. bank account semua kan. I tak ingat. I don't know really. Hmm. Uh, ah yeah, I tahu je nak Sebab orang cerita kalau kan. berlakon iklan lebih mahal daripada berlakon drama. Oh really? But I guess that also depends if you are a normal talent or hmm. if you are somebody with a name already. Hmm. Because then that's almost like um, being an ambassador for the product. So mm. they, that's two different things. But Mm-mm. for me, I was just an eight-year-old kid as a talent. So I don't know. Probably, yeah, so you know, but I, I'm not mm. sure. So and then? So and then, um, but at the same time, my mom made sure lah. They're very... Uh, pasal academics, they macam make sure you concentrate at school and all that stuff. So especially my dad lah. So... Mm. Alhamdulillah, I, stu- I still study at school because I dapat masa sekolah pun I dapat offer berlakon. But, um, I because I remember when I was young, rumah I kat mm. Kumbak, I used to have, we lived in a bungalow in Kumbak mm. and two or three film lah you don't shoot kat rumah kita orang tau. Oh, rumah ah. you jadi lokasi? Ah, so ada, I remember ada No Kumasari, ada, I tak ingat siapa lagi lah, I remember No Kumasari. You ingat lagi tak filem apa? I tak ingat. Itu yang sayang tu. Kalau I pun nak cari balik. Adakah filem rahsia? Eh, you tengok filem rahsia. Filem tu, filem dia, dia, dia dah buat reboot tau. Oh. Anak pada Osman Hasyam, uh-huh. Syamil, uh-huh. dia arah uh, filem tu, uh-huh. dia reboot balik. You tahu oh. tak filem rahsia? Tak. Nur Kumar Sari berlakon. Uh-huh. Memang best cerita tu. Cerita oh, tu, yeah? cerita, cerita yang dekat zaman tu, zaman 80-an tu, memang famous gila. Yang... Uh, bab-bab seram ni kan mm, mm. Tapi You faham lah Seram-seram mm. zaman dulu Macam mana kan Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah, yeah. I'll okay. have to check it out then mm, I'll have to check it out mm. So I remember When they all shoot Kat rumah I semua I used to watch Tengok mm. lah Dia macam mana lighting You explore lah so, I tahu, so I tahu Observe. juga lah 
And then um, I think they all pernah a few times offer untuk just character apa-apa semua kan. Hmm. But my parents were like, no, 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 you have to study counselling, habis belajar, SPM semua dulu. So, yeah, I studied at BUGS. Hey. BUGS. Oh, uh, oh yang, yang you pakai ni? Alamak. Oh. Uh, okay, Bukit Bintanggal School. <laughs> Represent. So, macam mana you, you boleh pakai benda ni, uh, baju ni? So, you jumpa dekat rumah? Ah, kalau rumah tu memang ada. Oh, tengok boleh 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 apa tak sendat apa semua kan. <laughs> ah, nampak tak figure. <laughs> Saja Saidin macam nilah dia daripada daripada dulu kan. Kau balik uh, berapa berat berat, berat sekarang dah 40 kan? 46. Eh, tak adalah. 50, 60. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so you pergi you pergi <laughs> Dubai pun 60, balik pun 60. Ah, uh, dia macam ni masa dia the difference Sebelum dan selepas Arya ada. <laughs> Sebelum Arya ada, I merajin pergi gym semua juga. Masa Arya ada, I uh, naik sikit sebab hmm. I selalu masak untuk dia nasi semua. Kalau tak, I, uh, my husband tak suka makan nasi. Hmm. So, I jarang ma- makan nasi. So, I makan buah ke, roti hmm. ke apa semua. Bila Arya je, ada je dia naik. So, hmm. memang I plan. Tapi, it's weird. Since I've been back, I'm kurang makan uh, than when I'm in Dubai. Because I've been busy lah. Every day hmm. ada saja benda nak kena buat kan. Hmm. Settle untuk mana. Dekat Dubai you kerja apa? I tak kerja apa. Housewife. Housewife lah. Ah, ya, ya. Oh, bestnya. So, tapi, tengok movie. Tengok Netflix. Uh, no, tapi uh, that's a misconception. Being a housewife is like busy juga. Every hmm. day it's like, um, you know, I, I lah or, I lah yang tukang bersihkan everything. Ya, I lah. do all the laundry, masak. Hmm. And then once in a while, I'll go out and see some of my friends, some other mm. Malaysian friends kat situ kan. Mm. Ada je benda nak buat, whatever errands I have to do ke apa-apa. So, I dah dapat uh, driving license kat mm. uh, UAE, which was so hard to get. Serius lah? Ya, yeah, susah gila. Apa, apa, okay, apa yang susah dapatkan lesen dekat sana? First of all, it's not cheap. It's very expensive. Serius. And then, sampaikan... Um, and then, second of all, it's... You will hear stories, oh, uh, memang jarang akan first time ambil, you boleh pass. Jarang sangat. So, sangat, berapa sangat. kali you ambil so, uh, test? So, I, I memang nekat, I tak nak bayar, I nak bayar the, yang the starting price tu. Uh? So, I cakap, I nak pass first time. So, contohnya macam I ada kawan I, sebab memang susah, and then mungkin kalau orang jenis nervous ke apa ke, dia orang senang fail. Hmm. So macam kau I dia 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 siap ada macam unlimited package tau. Sebab macam I Oh, bayar ah, berapa kali pun tak apa. Ah, sebab berapa kali so, fail pun tak apa. Ah. So macam I Mahal lah bayar macam tu. Mahal, memang mahal. Oh, okay, berapa? Ah, so macam I hmm. um I can ambil I, I want my aim was to ambil the 10 to 11 hours uh, minimum. Hmm. Cuz macam mana pun tak kira lah you dah 20 years ke 100 years ke experience drive you mm. tetap kena ambil minimum driving uh, hours ni kat driving mm. school mm. so um, I said okay itu pun driving school akan evaluate you dulu so kena bawa for mm. about 15 minutes ke apa ke lepas tu dia kata kalau dia think you're okay uh, dia akan bagi you ambil yang minimum hours tu mm. and then um, lepas tu contohnya macam my friend dia ambil yang unlimited package, dia fail enam kali. Parking saja, You know, so she paid a lot lah. A mm. lot, you know. So, bila dekat situ, I, said, I guess it's the same here also lah. I think so, I can't remember sebab ada lama gila ambil listing kat sini kan. Mm. But, kat situ, driving school akan test you dulu, evaluate dulu, lepas tu mm. you pergi RTA. So, RTA tu is Road Transport Authority. Hmm. So, kalau driving school pass, baru dia akan bagi RTA test you. So, mula dia test, uh, theory test lah. Mm. Theory test, okay, I pass. Lepas tu, uh, dia akan, do you have to do the driving on the road hours? And then, driving school akan test you, kalau you okay mm. on the road. Sebab, dia on left hand drive tau. Mm. Uh, so, the opposite side to Malaysia lah. Kita kan right hand mm. drive. So, then, kalau dia orang happy, then you can go on to do your classes for parking. When you do uh, driving school, kata, okay, you're okay for driving, uh, uh, driving test for parking, dia akan book untuk RTA. Dah book untuk RTA, then you go for test uh, uh, with school. Mm. 
driving test dah okay with school and then you go on to RTA parking and dia punya parking ah. macam game tau because hmm. they have a whole set up lah kan and then uh, dia punya uh, macam contohnya dia punya reverse parking or parallel parking Hmm. Dia tak ada macam tiang ke apa ke Tak ada macam batu kat tu Tak ada hmm. It's just a box Painted on the ground And then So when you masuk parking tu hmm. Dia akan bagi, bagi tahu Okay you kena uh, reverse Okay pusing wheel tu setengah ke apa ke You tengok kat back uh, Cermin belakang tu kan macam ada macam Ada yang hmm. Stamp kereta tu punya You, that you know that that car hmm. punya stand kan so kata okay, you tutup mata sebelah lepas tu you tengok uh, tengok kat belakang yang dia punya simbol tu hmm. kalau simbol tu meets with the corner of the left hand of the box semua then you turn the wheel again lepas tu you kena tengok pula uh, apa ni uh, tayar in the side mirror you pusing lagi sekali kalau it meets the corner of the side mirror to meets the other side of the box uh, macam tu lah hmm punya step-step dia kan so that you get into the box mm. and then kalau dah masuk box tu pun macam parallel you have 5 minutes kalau within 5 minutes you tak masuk kotak mm. tu fail Feel. kalau tayar kena sikit kat lain kuning tu fail mm. but, it's, but it's good lah because then you have good drivers in Dubai mm. I mean jarang lah you dengar accident kat UAE tapi jalan dia pun tak mencabar I think macam jalan lurus tak juga luas, luas tak, and juga. Then, tak juga itu eh. dalam dalam, dalam movie downtown eh. tak itu dalam downtown <laughs> yeah i tengok tu dalam movie ya lah taklah so realitinya yeah, mission, mission possible so, uh, so realitinya the roads are good yes kan? jalan dia bersih bersih i mean like highway it goes dan, up to 10 dan tak ada lopak-lopak tak, tak ada berlubang-lubang selalunya tak ada lah ya yeah, ya yeah, ya yeah. tapi hmm. ada juga yang tricky tricky part juga oh, okay. uh, when you go out of downtown yeah, no. areas hmm. macam we don't live in downtown we live hmm. on the outskirts but about 15 minutes lah to downtown not bad lah sebab highway pun 10 lane on one side kan. Hmm. But um, yeah, it was tricky. So Alhamdulillah, I managed to the first time pass everything. Hmm. So lega lah. Because um, I use public public transport sebelum tu. Kat Malaysia pun I suka pakai public transport. Kat Malaysia, I akan naik dulu lah bawa arah naik bus, naik MRT, LRT hmm. semua kan. Pergi museum negara ke saja, make a day out of it kan. Hmm. So before I got my license, memang I... Uh, pakai met the metro uh, the bus semua hmm. cuma after a while nak beli groceries ke apa ke susah hmm. sikit even though kat situ Yalah. semua online boleh beli online hmm. and then you, kedai runcit kat sebelah rumah pun dia orang you call dia orang akan deliver datang hantar kat pintu hmm. no charge tapi it's for me is the the feel. the feel of going to the, do your groceries uh. macam best kan hmm. kita pun nak buat kan and then housewife pula tu hmm. So so nak tanya ke you you kena uh, so drive. So in the end we said okay let, let's let's I'm um, let me go mm. try and get my UE driver's license. So finally dapat. Dapat. Mm. So I guess that was one of a good experience also lah kat mm. UE. Mm. Okay back to cerita kita tadi. Uh, okay uh, ni cerita selepas you penubahan elite. Mm. So actually macam mana elite sebenarnya berganti-ganti dia punya ahli. Hmm. Hmm. So cerita dia. Okay, uh, before that, so um, so after I finished school, that's when my mom and I did well in my SPM semua. Mm. So then I went on to do my A levels at a at a college lah, local college. And then while I was there, I got offered to do film. Sama tak serupa. Dengan Azmi, Sama tak serupa. Uh, Aziz Azmi, Azmi, Azmi. Dengan tak 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 dengan hmm? Azmil, uh, Azmil and Nico, kumpulan Nico. Okay. And that time I told my um, Pengetua lah yang kat college tu, saya cakap, oh tak apa, I, uh, paling pun 6 bulan lah, satu SEM lah, I keluar, benda I akan masuk balik. But after that, I got another film of a superstar dengan Joe Wings, mm. muda. So, I never went back to finish my A-levels. And then, um, after that is when I got um, one of the KRU punya dancers, Dino. Uh, dia, dia, I kenal dia daripada... Dulu lepak Lot 10 Lepak lot 10 <laughs> Lepak lot 10 McDonald's kat Bukit Bintang uh, tu kan. uh, That's my hood lah kan um, So dia kata Oh ada uh, This group KRU I kenal lah KRU kan Dia kata KRU dia nak buat open audition Dia nak buat Female hmm. group lah 
So time tu memang dah ada sebelum kita ada Amstin, Feminine, Restu hmm. semua kan. Hmm. Padahal dengar dengar juga lagu dia orang semua kan. And I know some of them also. So I was like, oh okay that sounds like I memang suka menyanyi. And time tu I kenal Azhar, I rapat dengan Azhar. Azhar budak si Mary. Hmm. So kita orang memang sekolah kat that area lah kan. Hmm. So we said, eh jom lah, let's just go lah for fun lah. Let's see what happens kan. Hmm. So pergi audition, pergi audition and then uh, dapat. So I told my mom, I said, mm, that time my mom pun dah cakap, ah, tak apalah because I dah berlakon. So dia kata, apa, as long as you have your SPM, you did well on your SPM, mm. their motto is that you can always go back to studying, further study when you are ready lah. Mm. Yang penting SPM tu kan. So me and Azhar, we waited lah untuk the rest of the members kan. And then I I believe after that um, uh, Azza bawa Abby. I think because mm. they did a shoot or something together. So Azza kena Abby. And then <coughs> after that uh, Kiaru bawa masuk Linda sebab dia pernah shoot a film together. Mm. And then last kali Wati kalau tak saya Linda yang bawa yang recommend Wati juga. Tapi kita orang semua audition lah. So that's how Elite was formed. Yeah. So Um, kita dekat setahun jugalah untuk betul-betul gabungkan mm. Elite and the first time in, in fact we didn't do uh, album kita we did single first mm. we did GIG as a single so siapa yang macam peminat Elite lah yang tega dia akan tahu yang uh, there is a Elite single CD yang ada the original version ada uh, two or three other remixes on the single punya CD In fact, I don't think I have it. Or maybe I, I menyesal. There's one of things I menyesal. I tak simpan dulu. You tak simpan ah, CD tu? Ah, elite punya CD. Just for memory sake, collector's mm. item and cassette. I think I have a few, but I don't have the complete uh, collection. Mm. Peminat-peminat you mesti ada? Ada, definitely ada. Mm. Memang I know there are some mm. yang pernah datang bawa tunjuk kita orang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sepanjang you bergiat dan menjadi penyanyi, menjadi join Elite. Hmm. Apa yang pengalaman yang mungkin uh, you tak pernah lagi cerita kat orang? Oh. Hmm. Pengalaman-pengalaman <laughs> yang not sure sama ada menyedihkan ke? Hmm, pengalaman yang... I think yang, pretty much hmm. banyak orang tahulah. Um, but... <laughs> Ada orang bagi sign-sign kat tepi ni. Apa benda sign yang bagi pun tak tahulah. Um, hmm. Because I've done, to be honest lah, with Elite, with me, dah buat so many interviews kan. And um, I've, I've, so many memories, so many memories of Elite. I think um, most of them I already shared. So I can't really think of one that I haven't told yet. Banyak, uh, I mean, I don't know what I told, but definitely macam elite, kita duduk hotel yang berhantu. Ha? Huh? Uh, Kat mana? Kat mana Johor. Okay, uh, masa tu you guys buat uh, show? Kita buat show. Uh, okay, buat show and then kena duduk dekat so sana berhantu. So, kita orang elite, you have to remember elite in the beginning, Alhamdulillah memang... Uh, permintaan tu banyak jugalah untuk show. Mm-mm. So, pagi kita orang kat sini, naik plane ke apa, sampai ke Johor. And then the next mm. night terus naik bus ke apa ke, van ke, whatever ke, mm. balik ke, go to Kedah or something like that semua kan. Mm. So, for us, it was like always staying at hotels. So, kita orang banyak pengalaman lah kat different-different hotel semua. Duduk pula hotel lama. Hmm. Hotel tu tak lama ha. juga sebenarnya. It's quite okay. not. It wasn't old, a big. It was a big hotel, not that old. Semua. You guys cantik sangat. Hantu suka lah. <laughs> okay, cerita dia macam mana? I don't know whether it's hantu, but it was just how it happened uh-huh. was weird okay, lah. Okay, alright. So kalau dalam ilit, I selalu share bilik dengan uh, Wati. Okay. I selalu dengan Wati, mm-hmm. and then Azza selalu dengan Wat, uh, Linda because Abby kan after first album she left kan. Mm. So there was always four of us. So. Uh, Linda dengan Azar So I think this must have been like the, the By the second album Or something like that lah mm. And then um, For some reason I dengan Linda Went somewhere downstairs Ke apa ke semua And then Kita orang nak naik balik Bilik kita orang mm. So nak naik lift Nak naik lift And then Lift tu macam 
um, when it came dia macam uh, uh, macam ada gap sikit sebenarnya dia, dia tak turun fully tau so masa tapi pintu buka hmm. pintu buka and then there was like two other people in there so kita masuk kita masuk macam kena langkah lah nak masuk lift tu kan uh-uh. masuk and then we tekan our floor and then uh, kita pun tengah bor, I think we were talking to those two other people in the lift semua and everything. Mm. And then, and then the lift, again, it like, stopped at this floor. And it was like, uh, or maybe it wasn't when we got in, it was still okay. I think when it stopped on this certain floor, we had to, yeah, we mm. had to like jump down a bit because it didn't, macam, again, there was like this uh, gap. Mm. So, kita tengah borak, 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 macam, ilik, budak ilik kan? <laughs> Sentiasa excited ada je nak borak whatever mm. really um in in our zone lah whatever we're talking about mm. and then kita ram turun ada lift tu and then macam mana macam ada lift punya corridor and then you like turn the corner selalu kan ada lorong panjang where all the rooms are kan so then masa turun kita orang buat borak borak and then uh, after that kita orang perasan eh kamu macam macam gelap je kat sini kan this hmm. floor kan and then uh, we said oh tak apalah mungkin uh, kat area ni je kot macam lampu dia rosak ke apa tu kan hmm. so we just continue talking 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 and then we walk along the lorong lorong pun macam lampu dia macam not gelap but macam Suram. dim dim ah quite dim hmm. so then she was like eh kau bilik nombor apa lah kau bilik nombor so kita orang boleh lupa pula tu <coughs> what room number semua kan So, we were trying to call Azhar ke apa ke semua. And I think Azhar in the end told her what her room is. So, I said, tak apa lah. Lindan macam tak takut dah time tu dah. Mm. So, I said, tak apa lah. I teman you. Lepas tu, dia kata, eh, Azhar beritahu bilik ni lah. Nah, 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 semua kan. Or maybe I call her. And then, I was like, eh, this is not the right floor. Mm. Stop at the wrong floor lah kan. Ha, macam mana boleh? Ah, uh, And then, by that time, lah. Linda macam dah jalan la- laju je kat depan tau. Baby, Linda, Linda, Linda. And then dia tak jawab, dia tak putih, uh-huh. tak apa tau. I said, Linda, Linda, this is the wrong floor, this is the wrong floor. And then I pergi kejar dia tau. I pergi kejar dia macam, macam tak dengar, I panggil dia semua kan. Uh-huh. And she was about to like, masuk one of these rooms tau. So I said, eh, ini bukan bilik you lah. I cakap, kita hmm. a wrong floor. Dia kata, ah? Huh? Dia, dia pun saya macam, dia macam, ah? Huh? Huh? What's happening macam tu kan? I said, kau biar benar hmm. Linda. <laughs> eh. So I kata, eh, cun we're on the wrong floor. Kita untuk lari. Oh. Pergi balik kat lift tu kan And then uh, The door was just about to close Because I think The two people that were on that floor pun Macam Dia pun macam pelik lah Kenapa oh. This floor macam Gelap je kan Bila kita orang turun mm. kan mm. So luckily they stayed They didn't They stayed there Don't tekan mm. To see if we were going to be okay ke apa. I don't know But luckily They did for us lah So kita terus lompat Masuk dalam lift tu And I can't remember after that, it was such a blur, I think, because we were like, in shock tau. Mm. And then later on, much later on, I don't know, maybe this was just coincidence ke, or uh-huh. maybe m- mungkin the floor just stopped on the wrong floor, maybe m- memang betul lampu rosak on that floor, I don't want to make any conclusion. Uh, right? You tak tanya but, but that's what happened lah. Hotel tu. So later on, we tanya the staff what happened, or maybe we read it or something, or somebody told us, memang that floor, dia orang tutup. Eesh. And memang that floor, ada orang... Huh? Bunuh diri hmm. Eh, you tahu tak Setiap setiap uh, hotel Dia ada floor yang Memang khas untuk uh, Makhluk lain Oh, ya? Yeah? I didn't know that hmm. oh, Ada wow. I mean, like so many Dan, times We had another hotel ish, where um, Seramnya Another hotel where In the middle of night Orang kept knocking kan ah. So, we were like uh, No, mula-mula the phone kept ringing So, then we were like Okay, apa ni? Kita nak tidur kecil. Oh, apa ni kacau kita? Ini, ha, ini, kita oh nak ini bangun pagi. Hotel lain pula? Ini macam um, hotel. Macam hotel. Ah, hotel. Ah, Tapi cerita tu, lain lah. That one was a oh, big hotel. Ah. Okay. So the phone kept ring, ringing, 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 ringing. And then macam, apa ni? Lepas tu, letak tak ada orang, tak ada orang kan? Ambil dah angkat tak ada orang, letak balik. Call lagi. Angkat lagi, letak lagi. Hmm. And then, um, apa ni? Apa uh, ni? Then suddenly after that, orang ketuk-ketuk-ketuk. Macam apa ni? This is not funny anymore. And kita nak tidur kan. Besok ada oh. show. I think that time ada KRU dengan dia punya the dancer semua lah. Semua ada kecap. Ini ni main-main kacau kita orang ni. Ha. Ha. Saja nak prank. Jangan siap. Ha. Jangan lah. Jangan lah. It's not funny. It's not funny ha. kan. And then, um, 
Kita pergi kat Pim tu, I tengok kat Pip Hole lah. I think that time I dengan Wati lah. Maksud, kat Pip Hole, tengok macam, macam ada benda tau. Tapi macam not clear. Hmm. Orang ke? I don't know. I don't know what it was. But hmm. I was like, I'm not going to open the door. Kan, 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to open the door to find out what hmm. it is kan. So, I tak buka lah. Tak buka lah. Lepas tu, pergi kat pintu lagi. Dia ha, ketuk-ketuk lagi. Tapi tak dinon dia ketuk-ketuk lagi semua lagi. So, I apa ni? And then, um, after that, kita orang cabut phone tau. Hmm. And then, I don't know how phone tu bunyi lagi. So, that was so weird. That was really weird. Yeah. The phone still bunyi ni kita. Ni rasa apa kita nak buat ni? Apa kita nak buat ni kan? Lepas tu pergi, tiba-tiba ada bunyi ketuk kat tingkap. Oh my god. Like, so apa nama hotel tu? I, I kind of, no, honestly, I really cannot remember because we stayed at uh-huh. so many okay. hotels. Yeah. Okay, no it's problem. It's like, like motel, like yeah, yeah. at the high uh-huh. So, so ada, ada orang ketuk, ketuk uh. tingkap. So, by that time, kita orang macam dah, macam ni dah, macam, oh my god, nak keluar bilik, takut kan, semua so, everything. Phone dah cabut dah ni, semua kan. Uh. And then, tapi there was just that once lah. So, I was like, oh, mungkin there's another wire to the phone ke? Kita, I was trying to find logic kan. Maybe mm. there's another wire connected to the phone ke? That's why it's still ringing ke? Apa mm. semua kan? So, I just said, tak apa, tak apa. Baca je, baca je. Just try to do just a And I don't know how. We managed to fall asleep. And we woke up in the morning. The first thing I did was buka langsir, tengok. Kita luar, kita, kita our room was like on the second or third floor. Macam tu lah. It's, not, it's like motel. So, it wasn't like besar. But, It, there's no ledge or anything dah. Sebab kita oh. macam, uh, mesti dia ni kacau. Dia mungkin macam panjat ke apa semua kan. Uh. Tapi there's no like ledge tau. Macam orang boleh jalan semua kan. So macam mana orang boleh datang ketuk. Uh. Tingkap tu semua, everything kan. And memang what I saw through the people tu memang macam hitam-hitam macam tu tau. Tapi at the I, I really like, I don't want to make any speculation. Mungkin it was, hmm. until that day we tanya lah budak-budak tu, eh korang kacau kita orang. Korang, korang, eh tak ada, tak ada. Eh kata, Because everybody was so tired. It was, mm. I think we had like a road tour that time. So, dia kata semua orang masuk bilik, semua orang tidur. Semua orang mm. penat, dia kata. So, kita kata, yelah lah, tipu lah, mm. tipu lah. Tak, betul, betul. Kita orang, kita orang tak kacau. Mm. So, we just like, um, okay lah, whatever lah. Mm-hmm. So, kat Sarawak pun pernah kena. Sarawak macam mana? Sarawak pula macam... Uh, Sarawak tu was probably... Crazy lah. Memang crazy. Memang ada something lah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sampai memang kena... Kena macam mana? Kena Corak. sebab I kena call my dad. Arwah my dad that time. Oh. So, dia pacarkan. Because I was so shaken. And I was just like... I Sampai I suruh I call it. I, I guess I also wanted to hear his voice. Mm. So, dia baca ayat kursi semua. I nak dengar semua kan. Sampai mm. dengar ayat kursi pun I macam nangis semua. Mm. Yeah. Dia datang macam mana? I don't know. just... Datang macam tu and everybody just started acting weird. You? But anyway, no, I I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Tapi, tapi that one is weird lah because it involves other people. So macam I tak nak elaborate sangat lah. Mm. But that was probably mm, the most yang macam like, oh my god, what is happening? Like, this is like out of a movie yang macam tu lah. Oh. Yeah. But after that was like... Um, <coughs> you guys kena rasa... I don't know. I don't know whether kena rasuk ke. It was just out of stress ke. Out of... I don't know. Mm. I really know. Because I... This kind of thing, I don't want to put uh, any term mm. or label on it. Because mm. I also don't understand it 100%. So, I don't uh-huh. know. Mungkin ada yang... Maybe some of us were tired. Mm. Maybe some of us were stressed. You know? But, yeah. Macam kat dalam mm-hmm. movie jugalah. Okay. <laughs> I should write hmm. book, no, about about my life, okay. about all my experiences. Hmm. <laughs> macam Babe, uh, kejayaan terbesar elit yang yang membanggakan you sampai sekarang? For me, is um, when we got to perform for the closing games for the Commonwealth. Oh. Yeah, I think... 1998. 1998, something like that, right? Uh. Yeah, so we we perform the closing games, Commonwealth. Lagu apa? Stadium Bukit Jalil. Lagu elit lah. Kita perform lagu elit. Uh, and that Trauma. time, uh, tu lah, Ella, Ella, Ella nyanyi, stand in, uh, stand in, stand in Eyes of the World. So, oh. she did the finale. And, we perform lah all our dance song, Manisnya, G.I.G, that time, whatever lah, aku pun tak ingat. Mm. But we dance. Then, I remember because I did somersault. 
Because Ooh. I really I yang perform sama sah. Kau dulu masa sekolah actually dia kan. So oh. I did like the backflip or whatever it was. I can't remember handstand, cartwheel. I can't remember. Wow. Because I remember yang sponsor kita on time tu pun was Fila ke apa. So we were wearing uh, white tracksuit. All of us were wearing white tracksuit. Mm. And because my mom's family kan kat UK. Mm. So it was also live telecast kat situ. So it was nice because she, she watched me on TV also. So I think for me, uh, personally, if you ask me, I think that was one of our biggest moments lah. It was really mm. nice. Banyak lah macam-macam pun Ilik yeah. dapat buat pun sebenarnya. Eh, eh, you perasan tak dalam TikTok ada lagu uh, trauma. trauma. Trauma tu dah dah kena balik. Kan? So semua yang macam, I think yang membuatkan benda tu viral sebab a reaction a group macam makcik ni kan macam ya 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 semangat ah oh, semangat so you, you tengok ah tengok tengok <laughs> dah there's been quite a few oh. kan macam best juga macam pacik 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 pun buat tau pacik pacik pun buat ada oh wow ah. wow 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 keren lah tiktok ni hmm. so uh, talking about that how it's, it's nice to see that elite still has an impact or maybe somewhat of an influence kan. so Baru ni last week, uh, I sh- before um, a few weeks ago lah, mm. I post a snippet of lagu Alhamdulillah, lagu mm. uh, single terbaru Elite. I would say single terbaru but it came out masa uh, pandemic lah. Mm. Lagu Nasheed kan. Mm. I would say modern Nasheed. I don't know what to call it because I I bagi a few people dengar, ada yang cakap, oh ni macam lagu Nasheed ada, macam lagu motivational ada, macam lagu... Uh, mm. uh, macam lagu hip hop pun ada Sebab ada rap kan lagu tu kan mm. But um, When I posted it Banyak yang cakap Wah Bestnya bestnya Bila Elite nak perform Please lah mm. buat concert Please lah buat showcase Please we wanna Please lah record lagi semua So it's nice to see that Elite still has that influence mm. That Still ada peminat You know mm. And a p- The pity about that song Alhamdulillah is that Um The time that I came back to and uh, I can't remember the masa I quarantine or the time after. I think it's the the time I came back the second time yang tak ada quarantine. Mm. So I came back for a while to uh, like I said nak settle area punya paperwork semua nak bawa dia ke sana tapi mm. tak kesempayan because I couldn't get uh, some of the paperwork. Mm. But anyway, uh, and that time I think uh, Malaysia was starting to open up again. So Kiaru... Um, Said, eh, hey, why don't we do one single since Asha is here? Mm. Uh, and that time Abby said, ah, okay, but what kind of genre? Because mm. um, Abby kan sekarang more to Muslim lah, eh. Mm. So, uh, that time uh, Kiaru pun dia orang dah form, <coughs> I think it's called Iman Studios or something, where they dia orang pun macam concentrate more on the Islamic religious punya genre. Mm. So dia kata, why don't we do a elite style mm. nasheed rap slash rap slash R&B whatever hip hop whatever mm. nasheed song. So I said, okay. But I said that time dah hujung hujung anak kena balik dah. So I said I only have like two weeks from there like that lah left kan. So punya discuss 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 and I kata, okay okay she's on board. So dapat the five original members mm. and then um, I think we recorded the song one week before I left. Mm. So, dapat lagu pun two days before recording ke apa ke. To study lagu tu, hafal, semua everything. And then, we did the video clip like um, three days before um, I left. And then, diorang dah ada list lah macam mana nak promote. Uh, or, the, diorang punya itinerary lah macam nak promote mm. lagu Alhamdulillah tu kan. Mm. So, they were making appearances semua. And then, I would do... Um, via video call semua, I would join in the interview semua. And then, tak, 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 tak. Seminggu lepas tu, lockdown balik. Hmm. So, kesian lah dia because the, everything gone lah, itinerary untuk promote Alhamdulillah tu. Hmm. So, I did tell the girls, I said, since I'm back here, let's try and figure out a way to uh, promote Alhamdulillah again. Hmm. Because to me, it's a very, very good song. Um, you know, whether you're religious ke, tak religious ke, you suka dengan nasyik ke, tak ada, tak suka dengan nasyik ke salah. Like mm. I said, I bagi a few people dengar from all kinds of um, taste of music, background, and mm. they all like it. So, it's uh, it's it can appeal to a lot of people lah. Mm. So, uh, so far, I haven't jumpa budak elite. Mm. So, you balik ni, you, you are, you are kind. Baru sekali. 
So you balik ni you akan buat gathering ke ramai-ramai? <coughs> I tak tahu lagi depends on the elite girls mm. tapi sekarang ni I tengok macam elite so semua busy busy lah. Uh, so everybody has their own lives ke apa and I pun baru balik so I I mm. pun tak expect suddenly for you know mm. such as here to rearrange everything and work mm. around me um so kalau sempat sempatlah kalau mm. tak sempat tak sempat, tak sempat it's okay but i'm mm. sure at some point i will meet the elite girls lah padahal mm. dia pun duduk kita semua most of us duduk dekat-dekat except for linda linda mm. duduk uh, syah alam lah tapi yang lain semua duduk, duduk dekat-dekat pun mm. sebenarnya tapi duduk dekat-dekat dekat-dekat mm. pun everybody's mm. like busy pun susah nak jumpa Mm-mm. so Eh, minggu depan ada premier Grand Turismo. Oh, ada. Cerita, I think cerita racing. pasal, ah, yeah, racing. racing. Cerita pasal nah, gamer. Nah. Ah, boleh? Mm-mm. Nanti, I jemput you. Okay. Mm-mm. Hari Selasa, 15 hari bulan. Okay, Chun. Mm-mm. Ajak artis sekali. <laughs> dia dah, okay, babe. Dia, dia dah tak nak, uh-huh. dia kata. Dia nak tengok Barbie. Saya, saya babe, I, saya ada saya satu ini. video mm-hmm. yang macam I cakap tadi, I nak tengok you punya Just normal reaction. reaction. Uh, lagu dollar, you cakap dollar tu kan? Oh, Sebenarnya uh-huh. dollar. dollar. So, tu. so dia orang baru di release one of a, a music video. Mm-hmm. Dollar, dollar, dollar Damelo. The last time I came back, kita orang ada, dia orang ada buat drama uh. ke apa entah. So, Lepas tu kita orang ada shoot uh, budak elite, ada hmm. shoot a few scenes dengan dia orang. So we were in that drama. Uh-huh. Dalam so, drama music, tu, hmm. manager dia adalah Uh, Azwan Azwan Ali Azwan Ali? Uh-uh. Oh. So basically Jalan cerita dia Is that Azwan Ali Bawa kita orang As elite mm. To introduce To To dollar Macam dollar 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 Oh dollar Dollar, dollar. Oh, Ringgit dollar, dollar. Mm. To dollar And macam Kita orang cerita Our experience uh, mm. Zaman-zaman as, you As we were When we first uh. started lah yeah. So dah kita orang mm. Jumpa dah dah Work with them juga Yeah. Nice nice bunch of girls. Mana hmm. dia pun nama uh, Shasha kan? Tapi ah, I Sasha, dia Shasha. Dia Sasha. Okey. Uh. Okey, I nak bagi you tengok just normal reaction. So tengok kat mana? Ah, uh, you tengok kat sini lah Senang. Sebab tu susah sebab tengok sini je. Okey. Ataupun tengok dekat my iPad lah. Sekejap. Yang pernah dia orang buat. Ya. Yeah. Tapi yeah. yang lain pun not bad lah, not bad lah yang lain. Dia orang dah berapa album dah? Uh, Kau really single, singles. single wip. Oh. Hmm. Kalau lah dollar dilahirkan di zaman elit macam mana agaknya? Zaman zaman elit tak ada, tak ada Korean yeah. pengaruh kan? Yes, that's ah, right. Masa tu Korean orang tak pandang pun. Ya, yeah. yeah. yeah, belum belum ah. belum terlahir kau. Hmm. This whole K-pop thing. Hmm. Apa yang you nak? Because like cakap sikit pasal orang. Because like K-pop kan Dia punya style nari pun Lain-lain kan It's more mm. like Small Quick movements mm. Whereas like for us It was like Bigger <laughs> Bigger oh. movements And more mm. Yeah I don't know It's like different in that sense lah mm. We were more in the Because we were both <laughs> under uh, We were <laughs> under <laughs> EMI And <laughs> then You were like aerobic And step. we were doing mm. Like I said, I was doing somersaults mm. and you know that kind of thing. And so, but but some somersault you 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 yang buat eh? I dengan Wati. Wati. Ah, so ada buat juga ke? I can't I can't remember. Yeah. So yeah, but that that one thing I would say about dollar, mm. dollar, dollar, dollar. They are uh, they look polished, so they well rehearsed. Mm. Um, they know their steps. They it's sharp. Um, so they, that means they practice, they train well, and then f- um, they have very good uh, image consultant, I guess, because mm. you always see that image okay. is um, stylist. Is uh, a, not the words not attractive. They are. I mean, they are attractive. Uh, f- they look pretty and everything, but it is um, it catches your attention. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what you need mm. anyway. The formula, and of course, they sing mm. well. So it's a package. It's always a package. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, babe. Thank you so much. It, nampaknya itu saja untuk kali ini. Uh, nanti Tengok, eh? uh, uh, sejam lebih. Podcast ni kena lama, babe. Tak apa. Uh. Lama lagi pun tak apa. <laughs> uh, I percaya you banyak lagi cerita pasal Dubai. Sebenarnya, hmm. I 
saya tertarik nak pergi ke Dubai hmm, tapi tak sampai sampai sure hajar tak lagi. pernah pergi langsung A- ada pernah uh, agensi mm-hmm. hired me to buat shooting travel log kat sana mm-hmm. tapi I think pandemik ke problem dengan uh, dia orang punya dalaman punya syarikat aku pun tak pasti mm-hmm. so end up terkubur I siap beli tau I siap beli GoPro dah nak pergi sana oh ya yeah? ah, I cakap dekat agensi I dah pergi GoPro ni mm-hmm. ah, lepas tu tunggu 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 dulu sekarang, but Sangat sekarang ni uh, Dubai memang So kalau I nak pergi bulan berapa? You should go between October and October. March mm-hmm. Best is around December, January Yeah. yeah. Okay babe, thank you so much uh, Mungkin peran, uh, perancangan terbaru you? Perang, perancangan per, Perancangan <laughs> terbaru Perancangan terbaru um, Well like I said for now I'm back in Malaysia And then um Of course, I rindu perform dengan Elite. I, I rindu berlakon semua. Mm. So, I don't know. We'll see mm. kalau ada any special project ke collaboration ke apa mm. while I'm back mm. kejap ni. You pun boleh buat MC kan? Ya, yeah, boleh buat MC. Mm. And then back in uh, um, in Dubai, of course, uh, I'm a housewife. Mm. Tapi, um, yeah, again, I'm open to any collaboration ke working ke. Mm. Yeah. Minat tu masih hmm. definitely still there lah. Hmm. Yeah. Kata-kata akhir untuk peminat? Kata-kata akhir. Eh, nanti nak GV berapa eh? GV 10 eh? Uh-huh. Ay, ay, PC depan 2-3 hari lagi. PC. Tapi, uh, Tiba-tiba nak buat PC. GV Oktober kan? Ah, tapi lambat lagi kan? Tapi uh, dia orang dah buat, nak buat PC here. dah. PC khas katanya. Dekat email kan? Uh-huh. PC khas ke Gava Ganza. Oh. Oh. Macam, Mungkin eh. Lepas tu dia buat dekat GV? Astro je. Dia buat dekat Astro kan? Biasa dia buat dekat hotel mana kan? Oh. Oh macam dia nak buat set, dia nak permulaan lah kot. Bila besok? 2 3 hari lagi. Oh. I think bukan untuk perkenalkan uh, apa peserta. Ah uh, just untuk ke mungkin the last GV ke the first. Oh, I, I'm not sure. Tahu. Kalau dia, dia nak umumkan peserta, dia tak akan buat dekat Astro. Why? Dia yeah, small, small dia punya tu. Dia mesti buat dekat grand grand dekat hotel. Mm. Ah, dekat event event space yang lebih besar lah. mm. So big question mark Ya, yeah, mesti ada pengumuman something Okay, mm. untuk peminat-peminat you You nak cakap apa? Kena, kena tengok kamera tu ke? Ah, kena tengok you ik- Ikutlah <laughs> I pun peminat you juga Oh, <laughs> peminat you juga <laughs> Serius lah <laughs> um, Thank you to Everybody that still support me Walaupun mm. I kat Dubai pun Uh, masih yang tanya khabar hmm. Yang tanya bila nak balik Malaysia What's hmm. the, the latest activity Kalau ada apa-apa yang Diorang boleh datang tengok ke Elite perform ke apa ke hmm. So like I said yang hari tu baru ni I post yang video Alhamdulillah tu Dapat very very good feedback And um, ramai yang, yang cakap Masih rindu dengan Elite So hmm. we'll see Siapa yang nak tahu latest update ke Um, the latest news Just follow me on my Instagram mm, Sasha Saidin Actually I have TikTok I know a lot of people saying I have to be more active on TikTok semua Cuma <coughs> You have to remember kat UEE ha. um, Contohnya macam WhatsApp tak boleh video call Tak boleh eh? voice call yeah. WhatsApp tak boleh video tak call? Boleh. Kenapa? They don't allow it Oh tapi kat rumah boleh lah Kat rumah pun tak boleh huh? You can only WhatsApp type So macam contohnya Instagram I be live Tapi I tak boleh share live dengan orang lain So sama dengan Facebook juga Sama dengan uh, So TikTok I belum try lagi I rasa TikTok boleh live Tapi I think again I tak boleh share live tu So contohnya kalau I nak buat um, Video call um, Ramai-ramai ke Or even just two people I kena pakai Google Meet Or oh. Pakai Zoom uh, so, Ada a bit of limitation there lah For that hmm. kind of thing kan um, hmm. But um, TikTok tu I have an account Same hmm. Sasha Saidin hmm. uh, Actually since I've been back I've tried doing Live a few times Tapi from what I notice Ada orang masuk Tapi hmm. orang tak cakap apa-apa So I'm macam uh-huh. Somebody say something Like ask me a question Or something uh-huh. You know But they tend to like Just I guess they want to see What I'm doing mm. And Stalker <laughs> So I'm like mm. Okay I'm talking to myself 
Or else after that, mm. I tried Instagram blog. I was curious juga after a few times because Zain was like, go yeah, go on TikTok. TikTok's great, you know. And mm. I was like, okay, okay, I'll try it out, you know. And um, bila I get Instagram, banyak pula orang borang. I mean, because I just slowly mm. dah biasa dengan Instagram. So I have more friends mm. friends and fans on Instagram. Tapi after that, I immediately after that, I ended my Instagram live. I pergi dekat TikTok live. I did the same thing macam. Hmm. <laughs> TikTok, you can attract people dalam masa empat saat, pam. And then kalau empat saat, you kata memboringkan dia akan swipe. Oh. Dia orang swipe, 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 swipe. Tapi bila tengok nombor cantik kan, dia akan stay lama. Itu ha. yang dia senyap. <laughs> dia, dia terkedu nampak you. <coughs> okay, thank you for that. Comment. Okay, dah habis untuk peminat. Okay, yeah, right. that's it. Thank All right. you. Thank you Love so you. much. Thank you so much, Sasha. Thank Kita jumpa so di minggu depan eh. Okay. Jangan lupa. Oh yes, movie ah. premiere. Yeah. Dan Turismo. Alright. Cool. Alright, jumpa lagi di masa depan. Podcast right. Borak Sini habis sini. Mengundur diri. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Okay. This is how we do this.